also around that time when I was still in the throes of doing that Jay and I got back together remember now we left Gava and yes. then we had done the policy yeah. we separated yeah now we've come back again together yeah and we have looked at the policy that mm-hmm. Gava has been doing mm-hmm. and we realized that Gava is at the stage of the last bit mm. which is data mm-hmm. so we went to the government together with World Bank and said uh, back to Bitang and Demo and Tahi mm-hmm. and we said we love how you pulled off the strategy that mm-hmm. we did mm-hmm. now we're here mm. and we think that uh, mm. it's time to do um, take all of the data that we have mm. and publish it now let me explain what that means mm-hmm. at that time if you wanted to get data mm. like you just wanted to know the number of schools in the country mm-hmm. and where they are mm. you would be told f- uh, two things that would stop you mm-hmm. either it was a security risk for some reason to tell you where where schools are mm-hmm. yet we know where the schools are mm. it's just we just want all of the schools in one paper mm-hmm. it was a security risk mm-hmm. or you'd be told write a letter applying for that data uh, have that letter stamped then taken to three four five different offices at mm. KNBS mm. and then if it is approved you must pay for it mm. so it locked out everybody so it means that citizens cannot participate mm. in government mm. it means that they can't say you know we have too many schools in this area let's have more schools in this area mm. it means that they can't when budgeting is being done they can't say anything because how do you contribute to what is happening so we went and we um proposed that we do open data and because a new constitution had come and he'd already had said that citizens must be allowed to participate mm. and one of the biggest ways that you must participate is when you have data even in this house now if we were to say that you know between us we want to um figure out how to reduce our costs mm. we have to together we look at the how much electricity we write every day every day mm, mm. we look at the meter every single day mm. and eventually say hey we need to be switching off the lights so at that at time. least we yeah. you see what i mean so we can mm. reduce our mm. outlay that's mm. something that we we mm. you know should mm. be doing as a country mm-hmm. but my mom and your mom and our moms mm. and our fellows mm-hmm. cannot be able to do that mm. simply because of the fact that they don't have access to this data mm. and when they hear from government what they hear is we are investing 1 billion shillings in water mm. how much did you invest last yeah. year Mm. how many water points did you put up mm. are they useful mm. are they not and so on and so forth mm. if you give us the data we can check mm. for ourselves mm. but if you don't mm. it's impossible mm. so we talked to bitange um, professor demo about this and he was on board mm. and then he went and talked to the president mm. and the president asked for a meeting we had the meeting at this time uh, the president is kibaki, kibaki yes mm. we went and presented it to president kibaki mm-hmm. and uh, he says i like the idea so let's go ahead and uh, he says he asked his people there about what uh, timelines look like for lunch and he gives us a date six weeks hence what that meant for us is that we must organize a launch of the Kenya Open Data Initiative hmm. in six weeks. That means that there must be open data. Now, open data means that you have data in Excel format that is published and available to everyone so that you can download it in your name. All of the data that is in government is in PDF format. Even if you talk about the census of 2009, it was in PDF. we needed to take that pdf all those tables make them into excel sheets and then make them public we needed to build the platform where that data would be placed mm. okay and the president has said to go do and it. the president has said in six weeks i'm coming to launch it so there was a flurry of activities and world bank came into play i hub came into play um the likes of this a young lady called Jessica Colas who came into play Athman Ali of at the time trademark East Africa um came into play um like a whole bunch of people came mm-hmm. 
and we all had a role to play. Mm. So Jay and I uh, set up a task force with all these guys. Mm. I was chairing the task force, Jay was the vice. And J then J just so that you don't lose Jay. So Jay is the guy I wrote the... His the, full name, sorry. His Jayesh Bala. Jayesh Bala, yeah. yeah. So we call him Jay Bala. Mm, mm. So Jay is the one who mm. um, we wrote this with. Mm. And he and and he basically is a master at organizing very complex things. Mm. So I'm chairing that as was his vice, and we just basically organize. We're tracking how the digitization is going there. Mm. We're tracking the event organization and working with presidential protocol on mm. how that event is going to be at KICC. Which must be uh, a <laughs> it's, whole. It's a it's a whole thing. It's a whole nobody, episode. Itself. You know that uh. Uh, in presidential functions, nobody else can wear a rose. It's written down. No one else can wear a rose? A rose. You can't come in a suit with a rose. Oh, yeah? Only the president. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. It's actually written down. No, I know. So don't ever dare show up like yeah. you're feeling yourself. So At you put like a flower. Uh, no. The security will identify you and... The protocol will identify you and ask you, please... Uh, remove that. Yes. Only the president. Because it can potentially be carrying something? Like no. what? It is just for his that's something for his position emblematic yes it is only him who's supposed to be yes okay yes Oof. and women are advised on the length of skirt n n below the knee be it must be below the sig it, it has to be a certain number of centimeters below the knee uh -huh. right oh, and wow. even things like color there's a particular shade of blue uh, no the, you can't just do there are colors you can't just Show up in show yellow. Up yellow in, and yeah, you you can't just show up for a presidential function like that. Hey, you know, the, so the public can show up, but some of you organizers, you need, mm. there's a protocol. Mm. There's a protocol of how we sit. There's a protocol of how where you stand. Where, mm. where the president, if the president is passing here, he's coming to see your away? your stall. Mm. Um, there's a protocol to how you address him. You are prepared mm. in mm. advance. Mm. So you don't say, hey, unye you know, sort of thing. And in case you do, there is consequences. Well, I d it depends on the severity of the, yeah. you know, yeah. and how the president takes it. If yeah. the president takes it badly, then there will be consequences yeah. for sure. Yeah. But so, mm. um, we're doing all of these things mm. now. We are, it's so organizing the technical, we, but also I think the event we, we were spending 17 hour days, Oof. Jay and I, Ooh. putting this thing together. Mm. Um, and eventually it was done. Mm. And the Ken uh, Kenya became... You pulled it off in the six weeks that... We pulled it off in eight weeks. In eight weeks, all yes. right. So he, he and allowed the reason we, we, we extended. postponed it is mm -hmm. because one day in the course of that, mm -hmm. we were told that uh, this thing is off. Ah. Just like that. And we're like, what, what, what do you mean? We are two weeks, three weeks. What, what, what? And we're told uh, we have to go to state house. We go to state house and uh, we find Professor Saitoti, former Minister for Security and several others with the president and basically Professor Saitoti and his people were advising the president that this is a security or publishing data or being that transparent it poses a uh, security risk and may embarrass the public. May embarrass the government Kenya. or the public? Oh, okay. Because we now are working on this. We are basically doing this at the behest of the World Bank and ah. others. So we're giving data to the world mm. and that can embarrass Mm, us. Mm. So we made an argument with Professor Ndemo in front. He made an argument and the president listened on both sides of the argument. Then he says, okay, and delay me. Mm. He made a decision. Still? Yes, he said, let's go. In, wait, in the same meeting yes. that this was being sort of, like he was being shown there, the, the downside of the this downside thing. of it yes and he listened to us on the on our side who were saying that this is he a listened good to thing. the contrary opinion yes and then he said i still think yeah we let's will proceed carry on you so know, he, he was not a man of many words he's he's decisive like that <coughs> he was very decisive All right so he listened and then he says okay carry on so now the date has to change isn't it because you we've eaten a bit of your time he asked this person he was given a new date so that date that's good to know that so from just that experience, you, you mean to say that he's brought forward the information, but at the end of the day, even as much as he has advisors around him, there are 
decisions like that, he just says, all right, I've listened to whatever arguments there are, but I'm the one who's still making these decisions. That's how it is. Oh, that's how That's how presidents mm. generally operate, mm. and Kibaki was certainly one of those. Mm. I can tell you a different story about um, how we did Brand Kenya. The, the, uh, the next president? Yeah, no. Still Same him? President. It's still oh, oh, yeah? Yeah. A different period? Uh -huh. this is, remember, we remember I told you that at one point I used to go to Three mice and we used to meet with Patricia and uh, Fatima and yes, so on. Yes. Um, you know, every time. Yeah. Now, when we used to, those meetings were about figuring out how Kenya can brand itself mm -hmm. um, on a global scale. Mm. America is not the greatest place to be in the world, but they have branded themselves as such. Mm -hmm. Places like Estonia, if you go online, you can see how they've branded themselves. Yes. South yes. Africa has the branded itself. Yeah. Inside. So there was a, there's a science, mm. and it's a marketing science, mm -hmm. about how to brand. Uh, places mm. um, and to make a good strong argument that mm. makes people want to work in that space mm. so we we made that argument we figured it all out then we decided to go and take it to the to the president um, so we worked with the Kenya private sector association and um, professor Nyang Nyungo who was then the minister for internal planning um, and we went to see the president about Brand Kenya. Um, it was, that was my first time to see Kibaki in action. It was the most amazing. So the entire time, so because I'm the one who's written this presentation, I, we are sitting, the president is sitting on a chair at the top of the room. Mm. And then on this side are two sofas. So the guys from uh, Kenya Private Sector Alliance the Joe and Juiz mm -hmm. and you know those the wazes of Kenya Private Sector Alliance mm. are seated here. Mm. Here are seated all his ministers, Nyang Nyongo, Rafael Tuju and a couple of others. Mm. And then there on dining room type seats mm -hmm. um, are us, mm. the Brand Kenya team. Mm. So uh, Paul Kukubo mm -hmm. makes the presentation mm -hmm. um, that is describing exactly how um, you know, br this brand Kenya thing would work. Mm. Um, I'm s because I was part of the team putting together the presentation. Now I'm not looking at the presentation. I know it off head. Right. I'm looking at Kibaki. Mm. He's sitting on his chair and he's glancing at the presentation, but he's really looking at his nails. He's looking around. You know, he's he's not necessarily like he's not studying the presentation at all but mm. he's you know he's in fact at one point i remember being so dejected because i was thinking this this he, guy is not he's listening. not engaging and he's not you know it's very difficult After all the work and you put in all this work and this yeah. guy is not listening yes yeah. and this this time you're the pe you're the pen holder you're the one who's yeah, been I was on the it. one who's been on it yeah. and you know and and the five of us have worked uh, akina patricia and and fatima and and Jane Delory and Paul, we've worked like hours and hours and hours. Mm. Forget these other guys for Kepsa because them they were they were they came in. They as, escorted you. They escorted you know they were they had access. Yeah. So they're the ones who took us there. Yeah. So we presented this thing and the president is looking around. I think in my mind he's even looking. and saying, hey, that crack must be sold. Eh? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Nice curtains. That's what I'm imagining is going on in his head because. Uh. He's really not looking at this presentation that is directly in front of mm. him. Then we finish. And then the lights come back on. And he says, okay, good. Huh? So he looks at the ministers and the ministers respond in protocol language. Yes, Mr. President, uh, we think this is a good thing and we think you should do it. He says, okay, next, same, same thing. Different words, but same thing. Next, same, different words, same thing. So he looks at the private sector guys. They say, yes, Mr. President, this is a good thing. I think we can launch it and so on. So he realizes here he's not going to get. Okay, I agree, he says. Okay, sour. Then, and you young people, do you have something to say? So he looks at us back there. We said, uh, yeah, so we think that, uh, you know, it should be set up in the form of a board. You should be, have a cabinet paper, blah, blah, blah. Now, guys are practical. They're saying, these are the things that we want you to do now. <laughs> and he says, can you uh, go back? Now to the presentation. Presentation, go back. Mm. Goes back, goes back, goes back, goes back. Keep going, keep going. There. Now, the way government works is, then you realize, the guy has been listening deeply 
everything that was being said and now he's now gaining go back to this other presentation now that one cannot work because we can't budget it it can't work can it work with the budgeting whatever it is he's talking to somebody he gets an answer then he says you see that can't work with the budget so the way you have to structure that one is like this like this like this that's how government works this like this like this and then it would work uh, then you can get budget appropriations committee to, uh, to do one two three four five uh, keep going <laughs> ah, now that the structure of this you have to structure it like this and so like he was so detailed i'm super impressed he was so, that man understood public service i mean he was i mean he had been in he had been for, in public service for, since 64. for years yeah the man understood public service he understood how the this he, he saw out. it yeah he saw how it would work he understood it. he understood it even better than some of these ministers you can't fool him around and he was able to give very clear direction says okay nyang please let's uh, put a cabinet paper let it have one two three four five we have a cabinet paper this can be ready very quickly so let's have it for the next cabinet meeting like he became very practical and we by the time we left that place it makes a lot of sense direction. why then we as a country moved miles ahead yes. in various ways economically development wise socially even yes. uh, and many other ways people don't say politically as much <laughs> yes but to the extent that we did during his tenure during his tenure, exactly. his tenure because then if at the helm we have that level of leader who understands the ins and outs who is technically yes sound that yes. is who is a professional not politician yes but a professional economist and development yes. practitioner yes so to speak yes you know who understands these things and whom you're not going to fool around with ah i am Man, it makes a lot of sense so for me when we were going for this uh, open data thing that was my second mm, your second uh, yes in interaction, interaction with, with, with him seeing kibaki mm. in action mm. and seeing this man as the he president just listened to this whole thing he asked a few questions and he says hi twendele we need a date change the date we agreed on a new date may 11th it was so he's not sleeping in office he's yeah so il- may 11th it was and we went and we opened it was launched oh and kenya became the first country With in africa data. to have open data mm. and maybe just the 10th in the world mm.